Hi friends, Chitra here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to learn how can we trade using the Camerla pivot points. So there are many ways to trade using the Camerla pivot points. This is one of the simplest approach to trade only on the specific zones. So what is called the Camerla pivot points? What are all these? These are the support and the resistance level. So those who are trading intraday, they can use this Camerla pivot points. These are the set of eight levels that resembles the support and resistance values for the current trend. Also, Camerla pivot points offer the guidance for both the sideways and as well as for the trending market. It identifies the support and resistance very easily. It helps to identify where is the next resistance and what is the next support level, where we have to book our like target or where we have to exit the positions. Helps to locate the clear exit at the entry points. This is the nifty chart. We are going to add the indicators. That is the first is the pivot point standard and next is the moving average exponential. All right. Okay. Now go to the settings of the Camerla pivot point. Okay. And here we can see that the S3, R4, uh, S3, S4, R3, R4 is checked. Okay. So we, we need all these uh, support and the resistance levels. Okay. And under, under the style, we can see that the lines and labels is checked. So we need to know the price also. Okay. Click on OK. So EMA, coming to the EMA, this is the 50 EMA. So we are going to change this as 20 moving average exponential. Okay. And click on OK. So the, now the setup is ready for to enter into the long and the short trade. So why we need the S1, S2, R1 and R2. So go to the settings and we can enable the S1, S2, R1 and R2 is for the profit booking. Where to book our target. So here we can see that the that is on 19th July, price opened above R3. Okay, so we are not going to enter into the trade above R3. Here, the strategy which I am going to show is, if the price is in between R3 and S3 and R4 and S4. Okay, so we can see that along with the 20 EMA, how can we enter into the long and the short trade. So, here the price is above R3 and R4. So, in between we are not going to enter into the trade. Okay, so we are waiting for the price to cross down that is you know close below the r3 so in this red candle we got the confirmation that the price gave a close below the 20 ema okay so we are waiting for the price to give a close below the r3 so this red candle gave the confirmation that the price is giving a close below the 20 uh, no r3 that is here this is r3 level and this red candle gave a close below the r3 and also the price is below the 20 ema so the trend is bearish so we can enter into the short trade keeping this red candles high as the stop loss okay so where is the stop loss here okay so this is the stop loss this high is the stop loss so we can enter into the short trade below this and we can trail the profit so once we are entering into the p trade we can book our profit at s1 so this is the s1 level that is 97300 Nine, this is the S1 that is 19737. This is the target. So where we are entering into the trade, we are entering the P trade at 19784. So we got the nice P trade here. Okay. So what are the you know, confirmations for entering into the P trade? The price should be below R3. Also, the price should give a close below the 20 EMA. So many of you asked me like if the price is below R3 and price is above R, uh, S3, how to enter into the long and short rate. So this is the video for them. So you have to uh, get the double confirmation from one more indicator that is the moving average exponential. So we can take the 20 EMA also for the confirmation in, or, in order to enter into the long and the short trade. So this is the place where you can book your profits. Okay. So you don't want to wait for this uh, target to get achieved. If you are already in profit, you can book your profits at any level according to a risk reward ratio. So if you are trading in nifty, you can always book for like 15 to 20 points in the first trade. Okay. So now we'll see one more example like how to enter into the CE trade that is the long trade. Here we got the nice PE trade. Okay. And the price took support at S1 here. After that we can see whether the price is giving the close above the 20 EMA we can enter into the long trade. So we can see this uh, green candle that is the 1220 candle gave a close above the 20 EMA. Okay. And here above this we can enter into the long trade. Okay. 
so we got the target as r3 so here we are entering okay so we, we got the nice uh, long trade so always try to enter at the s3 level so here this is not the perfect example for enter into the ce trade so here we can see in the next day how to enter into the uh, long trade okay so here we can see this one red candle you no know, gave a close from r1 to s3 so please avoid these types of trade don't enter into this types of you no know, short trade also this red candle gave a close below s3 so if you are getting any red candle big red candle try to avoid not to enter into the trade we'll be looking for how to enter into the long trade so this is the s3 that is 19799 we got this green candle which gave a close above the 20 ema this this is a big candle this green candle also gave a close above the 20 ema but avoid this green candle because when we enter into the trade of stop loss also very big so we can see this 10 15 candle gave a close above the 20 ema so we can enter into the long trade okay for the target of first target always keep as yes uh, sorry r1 is the first target and we can keep trailing our profit for the r2 and r3 so all our target got achieved so we'll be entering into the long trade in this green candle okay stop loss is the low of this uh, green candle okay first target is r1 second target is r2 and third target is r3 we will see a few examples from the bank nifty also nifty bank okay so this is the bank nifty so here the price opened gap up and price is at r4 so we are not entering into the uh, long or short trade so we are waiting for the price to give a close below the 20 ema okay in order to enter into the short trade so this is the r3 level so here we can see that this is the r3 level okay okay and this red candle already that is a 1050 candle gave a close below the 20 ema again we got one more red candle gave a confirmation below the r3 this red candle gave a close below the r3 so this is our entry candle so we'll be entering into the short trade in this red candle okay so what will be the target target we can keep it as s1 s2 so in this one red candle our all the targets got achieved s1 s2 and s3 so we can book our profits okay. so what we are doing here is we are entering trade below r3 and uh, long trade above s3 so we are taking or we are getting the double confirmation from the 20 ema in order to enter into the long and the short trade and we are booking our profits at the s1 r1 r2 and uh, s2 levels here we can see one more example from the bank nifty this is the first the that is a green candle so we are not entering into the long or the short trade because the price is at r3 so below r3 we will be always looking for short trade that is a pe trade so this is the red candle we got that is a 920 candle still we are not entering into the pe trade why because the price is above the 20 ema okay so we are waiting for the price to give a close below the 20 ema so this is the Uh, doji candle so we we need the strong uh, red candle giving a close below the 20 ema so we can see this 10 25 candle gave a close below the 20 ema so we can enter into the short trade okay so this is the red candle which gave a confirmation uh, no to enter into the short trade so below this uh, uh, red candle will be entering into the pe trade target as s1 s2 and s3 so all our target got achieved in this short trade we can see how can we enter into the long and the short trade if the price is above r4 and price is below s4 okay here we can see that the price is above r4 and we got this green candle which gave a confirmation that price gave a close above r4 why because this is the red candle which is the retracement candle but this red candle didn't give a close below r uh, no it didn't give a close below the 20 ema so we can enter into the long trade above this green candle okay stop loss is low of this green candle we can enter into the long trade for the target of r5 okay so we can see like how much points we got in this particular long trade so what will be the stop loss the low of this uh, green candle is a stop loss okay so stop loss is like 17 points and the target is like 52 points plus so we got to this uh, nice reward that is 1 is to 3 is the risk reward ratio we can see one example if the price is below s4 how to enter into the short trade okay so the next day that is 21st july this red candle gave a close below the s4 okay and also we can see that the price is below the 20 ema 
okay and stop loss will be the high of this red candle so we can enter into the short trade okay here we got one more confirmation that the price is below the 20 EMA and S4 also. After the price gave a breakdown below S4, this is the retracement that is a pullback to the 20 EMA. Immediately we got the red candle which gave a close below S4. So we can enter into the short trade for the target of S5. Okay. So we can see the short position. So this is the target. This red candle we are entering to the short trade. So our uh, stop loss is 25 points and our target is 97 points. You can see how this strategy worked for a couple of days. That is from June we can see this is the June 1st. Okay. So here the price opened at R3. Okay. So also this is a red candle but we will not enter into the short trade because the price is above the uh, 20 EMA. So we will be entering into the trade if the red candle is closing below the 20 EMA. So we can see this 925 candle gave a close below the 20 EMA. So here we will not be entering into the trade because the price already touched the target that is S1. So we will avoid this short trade. Again we got the green candle which gave a close above the 20 EMA and also the price is above S1. So here also we will not enter into the trade. Why? Because the price is uh, already above S1. Okay, The price didn't come till S3. If we are getting any green candle from S3 we can enter into the long trade. Also, this is a big candle, so avoid taking trade in these types of candles, okay? So, we are waiting for the price to give a close below the R3 and below the 20 EMA. So, we didn't get any uh, red candle here. This is a consolidation place. So, this red candle, that is a 925 candle, gave a close below the 20 EMA, also below R3. So, we can enter into the short trade here in this red candle, okay? And the stop loss will be the high of this red candle. So, if you enter into the short trade, our stop loss is high of this red candle and target is, first target is S1, that to achieved at 150, okay. Second target is S2 and third target is S3. So, here uh, we got the trade and our targets achieved bit late, but after a long consolidation, our targets got achieved. The next day, the price opened at R4, that is above R4, that is on June 2nd, okay. So if the price is at R4 and uh, it is a gap up, always wait for the retracement that is pulled back to the 20 EMA. So here we can see that the price uh, no, broken the 20 EMA below R3. Okay. So here this is the R3 level. So we didn't get any long trade. So here we can enter into the short trade. This red candle we can enter into the short trade. Our first target is S1 and S2. So the price uh, entered, uh, no, price took support at S1. So we can book our short trade here. So we don't want to enter into the long trade because the price took support from S1 and price moved up. Okay, so we got one short trade here. Okay. We can see the next day that is the Monday, June 5th. Uh, the price opened at gap up and the price is above the R4. So this is the first 915 candle price already opened at R5 and again price came till R4 and from there we got the green candle. Okay. So we can enter into the long trade above this green candle for the target of R5 that also got achieved. So here we are not supposed to trade any long trade above R5. So we have to wait for the pullback or retracement at uh, we got the retracement at 935 candle. So we can enter into the long trade. We can see the next day. This is the June 6th. Okay. Here the price opened. This is the big candle that is 915 candle. The price is no big candle from S2 to R3. Okay, from R3 price opened and price touched the S2. So ignore this candle. So we'll be waiting for the retracement candle. So here we got the Doji candle at 940, and after that the 945 candle gave a breakdown below the R3 and 20 EMA. So we can enter into the short trade for the target of S1, S2, and S3. So all the targets got achieved. Still we can trail our profits. Okay. So here this green candle that is 1235 candle gave a close above the 20 EMA. So this is for June 6th. So we can see for the next day. And also here we got the long trade. The price is at S3 here and the price is already above no, 20 EMA. At uh, 3 o'clock the price gave a close above the S3 and price touched the target at R3. Okay, we got the two trades on the same day. We can see the next day that is 7th June. 
the price opened at R4, so we'll be waiting for the pullback to the 20 EMA. So here, this uh, green candle gave a close above the 20 EMA, so we can enter into the long trade above this green candle, that is 10.55 candle. A uh, long trade stop stop loss is low of this green candle. So once we enter into the long trade, our target is R5. That also got achieved. We'll be seeing the next day, that is the June 8th. Okay. So this is the first green candle that is at uh, no 8th June. Price opened in between R3 and S3. So we'll be waiting for the price to give a close below 20 EMA in order to enter into the short trade. So we'll not be entering any trade here. So above R3 and R4, we'll not enter any trade. So here, this is the red candle which gave a close below no R3 and below 20 EMA. So we'll be entering into the short trade below this and because the targets are achieved. All the targets achieved at. Uh, S1, S2, and S3. So here we will not enter into the trade buy because the price is above the 20 EMA. So if, although it is a red candle, we will not enter into the trade. This is 9th June. Price opened at R2. So we will be waiting for the red candle to give a close below the uh, 20 EMA. So this is a week. Uh, this uh, candle is a week. So avoid this candle. After that, we got the long leg Doji candle. That is a 920 candle. So this is the 925 candle. Is a uh, red candle. That is a bearish candle. So we can enter into the short trade below this. Our target got achieved at S1. Okay. So we can book our profits. And that is a trending day. This is my Telegram channel currently having 7000 plus subscribers. There are so many fake channel under my name and my logo. Don't get trapped. Okay. So every video at the end of my every video, I'm sharing the same about my Telegram channel. Still people are getting trapped. So please be aware of that. Here I will be sharing the Nifty and the Bank Nifty levels. That is a support and resistance level every day evening for next day. So today is July 25. So this I have shared the 26th that is july 26th evening okay so here i have shared the nifty levels key key level i have shared today morning that is nifty 19 730 is the key level okay and also fin nifty also i have shared that fin nifty can touch 20,528 and the target got achieved so this is a free channel so those who are trading the index nifty or bank nifty fin nifty they can join my telegram channel okay then i told trail fin nifty to 2505 that got achieved so okay so here this is the telegram channel so those who are trading nifty and bank nifty can make use of my telegram channel hope this video is useful to you please don't forget to like share and subscribe click the bell icon too for my upcoming video notifications thank you for watching